Juhas turns the corner, floats it up short. Aliyah Edwards looking to clean it up and does. It's 15% as far as the percentage of their points that come from three. Juhas, no. Edwards again on the offensive glass with the putback. Just get her own shot. She can get her own shot, whether it's from three or off the one dribble. Seneshaw comes up with a steal. Here is Mule, leads the country in assists, and that's why. What a dime. She dropped medium workers before each home game. How lovely is that? That's a bright, shiny thing to do. I know? agree. Maybe not during COVID. I feel like that's something L. Duncan would do. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Hug all employers and employees walking into the building as Edwards. Uh, first field goal of the game. Ten second difference, game and shot clock. Edwards faces up and banks it in. Well, here, and I love that the, the Vols men are here supporting their women. And it's just been the biggest areas of growth. Number one is her consistency every single day and being a full assist per game. And we talked about it early. Her expanding so that she's such a threat now. Getting players off the bounce, but that time Rakia Jackson still able to get where she wanted to go. 11 for Jackson. Here is Edwards all the way in. Finishes that one. Whistles an incredible pace. It is certainly tightened up. Edwards floats it in. Tennessee had cut the Connecticut lead to two twice this quarter. But Connecticut able to weather that storm. Mule has 12 assists in the game. Here's Edwards spinning and finishing. The line only one of four from there, but she's gotten there. 11 points. Edwards. Edwards sinks the first. Time for Aliyah Edwards. And another. Hollingshed bodies in. Couldn't quite finish it. And it's corralled underneath by Lopez Seneshaw. Coming on two minutes and five seconds to go in this fourth quarter. Edwards jumper is good.